What's up, good people? It's your boy, R.L. And what a day. This is a special day. You know what today is? This is the day that the Lord has made. And his Bible commands us to rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm glad this morning. And I'm thankful for an opportunity to to give you a word to potentially uh, encourage and help someone who may be lost. I have a word, and the word simply says repentance. Repentance. Right there. You see it? Okay. So, I want to read from Luke. Uh, it's Luke 5, and I want to start around verse 27 to 32. Check this out. And after these things, he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with him. But the scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? Why, Jesus, why? So, classic Jesus, he says in verse 31, And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. So here's what I want to speak on. Um, verse 32, it says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So God is saying, I'm not coming, I'm not coming just for the ones who are righteous and, and, and making sure that they're okay and taking care of them, but he wants to come for the sick. He wants to come for the, for the sinners. And all he desires is for sinners to repent to repent we are living in sin daily there's some things that we are getting in that 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 we do on a repeatedly basis that's going to send us straight to hell and listen i'm not on here to judge because there's sin we all sin and we all fall short so we have to repent daily i have to pray and ask god to kill this this flesh daily because there's a, there are things in me that I do unknowingly that I don't even know I do that may be a sin to God so I have to repent myself so as I'm speaking to you I'm speaking to myself as well so I'm encouraging you to to do what God's word is telling you to do before it's everlasting too late many of you will be held accountable for all the things that you're doing, all the sin that you're in. So repent, turn around. The word repentance means to turn around, do a complete 180 and run. Run away from that thing that you're doing. And the only way you can do it is you ask God to come into your heart. Ask God to give you a, a, a new heart, a clean heart, and to give you strength to turn away from that thing. He'll do it for you if you're truly sincere if you're truly sincere, he says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive his spirit. Amen. So the Bible even mentions repentance about 79 times. And I, I truly believe that God is trying to emphasize the importance of repenting and turning around from the things and the mess that you're in. The addictions, the things that you can't control, the lies, the sexual immorality, the fornication, the things that have you bound, the things that you can't control, the anger, the hate, the not showing love to your brothers and sisters. A lot of those things that God is calling us to repent on. And a lot of us are just sleeping. And, I, and it's not your fault because I know that we wrestle not against flesh or blood we don't wrestle against human beings it's not people but it's the enemy it's satan and his evil and wicked devices the forces to be on this earth and it's sin it's nothing but sin that has got this world crazy and all mixed up so please guys just saying repent god is coming back one day and he's coming back with force. He's not playing. Yes, God is a God of love, compassion. He's sincere. He's sweet and kind. But he's going to wipe this earth out. And I love him because he's given us chances. 
Read his word. Get in his word. Even if you don't understand it, just read it and ask God for understanding. He will give it for you. He'll do it for you. He can't make he can't make you love him. He's not going to drag your arm, twist your arm and say love me. He's not going to do that. God gives us choices. He's going to give us a choice to love him. So just repent before it's everlasting too late. We're all going to stand before him one day and he's going to judge us. I don't have to judge. I'll never do it because this word is doing it already. It's already telling us to repent, repent. You heard it from me. Repent, repent. Turn around. Turn around from their sin. The only thing that sin does is cause a separation between us and God. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. This is your chance. This is your chance today. A lot of people said that they're not ready. They just don't have time. They want to wait. But the time is now. The time is now. You don't have time to wait. This may be your last chance or opportunity to repent. So God bless you. I love you. I pray that you're encouraged. I pray that you got something from this word. Get in your word. Get in your word. Repent, repent, repent. It's your boy, R.L. Peace.